Mark McNamara, back up to you because we are close to the first of the group ones. Thank Greg. They did bet Desha Mule, but it's good to run. Now, Gobi Range is about to come forward. Few of these have been in there for a while now. Those dramas around Lucky Feather at the start. Lucky Feather's a late scratching, and Gobi Ranger now wants to pull away. Shanboard's the only other one to come forward. If you're having a late first four, playing for at least 30,000. Gobi Ranger's gone in. Here's Shanboard coming up. 41st running of the Sorties New Zealand Guineas. 2,000 Guineas. Late scratching. The eight horse. Lucky Feather. Shanboard. Not seen since the Copeland Stakes. At Ashburton. It's a couple of attendants linked in. And the colours of rock and pop. Shanboard's ready. At Lonte and Sacred Park. The top two in betting. Stephanie Clark has them. The Guineas field's ready. Ready. Racing in the Guineas. And Charlestown walked out of the gates by three lengths. Lucanda slow too. Atlante's going to lead early over Gobi Rangers second and Sacred Park third. We're going to get you wide and fourth. One to Burn Orange and two and a half to Shanboard around Deshabille. One and a half Pacini. Then came Lucanda, El Dute, Charlestown, the late scratching of number eight, Lucky Feather. Atlante leads by two lengths over Sacred Park running second. Gaby Rangers on the rail third and a length and a half to Burn Orange fourth and then came We're Going to Get You. A length away Deshabille from Shanboard. Next to the inside is Lucanda from Pacini. Well back is El Dute and Charlestown whips them in. 900 metres left to go and the Sorties 2000 Guineas in Atlante leads a length over Sacred Park second. Gaby Rangers third on the rail. We're going to get you three wide fourth and Burn Orange pushing through between horses. Then Shambord, next Deshabille on the inside from Puccini starting a run. Lucanda was next from Charlestown and El Dute's under the whip. 600 metres left to go. The Guineas field are about to turn. The leader is at Lonte. Margin about a half a length over Sacred Park coming up alongside. Three wide, we're going to get you. Four wide, Shambord. Gobi Ranger looking for a rails run from Burn Orange. 300 metres to go. It's at Lonte. Sacred Park and wider out, Shambord. Gobi Ranger's on the inside. Shanboard though, 150 metres to go, leads narrowly on Atlante, Gobi Rangers on the rail, Atlante kicking again, Shanboard can't quite go with him, and it's Atlante's guineas, one and three quarters on Shanboard, Gobi Ranger third, Pacini fourth, next in goes to Burn Orange from Sacred Park, they were followed in by Deshabille, we're going to get you, and then came Lucanda, Charlestown, last in is El Dute, and the late scratching is number eight, Lucky Feather. Three at Lonte, Opie Bosson, 3.20 and 1.40. I am sure was headed by number six, Shanboard, at 1.60. And he's come back solidly, has at Lonte. He's made it three in a row. He's gone from, what about this, a maiden to a Holloway Builder Stakes to a Group 1 Guineas in his last three starts. He's won three from five. It might not have been long Shanboard hit the front, but it did. To Gobi Ranger at 290, Pacini has run on well. He looked in all sorts of bother, Brendan, turning for home when they loomed up inside and out, but this horse has kicked strongly, and this is just a great racing story. As I said, Maiden to a Holloway Builder, stakes to a Group 1 in three hits, and he's won our feature on day one of Cup Week. Oh, he's got it all in front of him, hasn't he, this bloke at Lonte. He's a Stunning looking colt by Fastnet Rock, but a great ride from Opie Bosson as well to be able to straighten that horse up the straight. Here's the judge. First place into number three, Adlante. Second, six, Shambord. And third, three, Gobi Ranger. Nine, Puccini, fourth. Four, Burnt Orange, fifth. And one, Sacred Park, sixth. Three, six, two, nine, Four, one, three quarters of a length, half a length, a short head, one and three quarter lengths. One thirty six point four seven and thirty three ninety six. One thirty six. Yeah. Fast Thank you, Rob. <laughs> and number three, Lonte. At Lonte and Opie Bosson, he picks up his fifth two thousand guineas, and as I said, he was able to jump rake the horse and then when swinging for home he just wanted to get on one rein and he 
he did a fantastic job to be able to straighten the horse up when Shambord went up to win the 2,000 guineas. But the class of Opie Bossa knew that there was something more to give in the petrol tank and he was able to lift and he really did fine in the concluding stages. Beating home the six and Shambord, who got himself a beautiful run into the race by getting onto the back of We're Gonna Get You and got that three wide cover going forward from about the 700. The second horse, the third horse in the race is Gobi Ranger who just tracked that Blonte, he came up the fence and he's done a good, nice job to finish third and get a group one placing. And Puccini from the back of the field has been able to come home and finish into fourth position for the Mackay team and Jonathan Parks. But Opie Boston salutes. He is our champion jockey from last season and he does the business here in the Sorties 2000 Guineas. Over to you, Greg. Thanks very much. Joined by Bruce Perry, who manages the syndicate that races this horse. And gee, this has been some performance to get a Group One at such a short notice. No, delighted. Wonderful ride by Opie uh, and Murray and Andrew. I mean, they turned the horse out in magnificent condition. So no, just thrilled and thrilled for the owners. Lib Batania, Tamil Bloodstock. He's put a huge amount into the industry. And Rhoda Filippo and also Mark and Shelley Trewick. So yeah, it's just magnificent. Great day for them. At what stage did you guys consider that the, this horse was a Guinea's horse? Uh, actually, he's done all his lead up before he went to the races. He did all his work with Dundeal. So I think that probably tells you what sort of regard they held the horse in from in an early, early stage. All right, congratulations. Thank you very much. Right, just going to step over here and catch up with Owen Patrick Bossom, who's won himself another Guineas here. And uh, halfway down, Opie, it certainly looked like you got headed by Shambord, but your guys just come back. Yeah, I did, but I, I couldn't steer him. I was hanging so bad up the straight, and if he had to run straight, he would have he won by five. So it's... He's got raw ability, he's just once he puts it all together and, and grows up a bit, he's going to be pretty decent. Right. There wasn't a whole lot of pressure on early, but Sacred Park put it to you from about the 800 metre mark. Uh, bar those steering problems that you had, uh, he's ended up winning it quite nicely in the end. He ended up running away the last bit. And, um, it's, it's good effort to pick himself up from when another horse passes you and, and come back, so you know, credit to him. All right. Five guineas for you, well done. Thanks very much. Opie Bosson, winning jockey aboard the favourite in the 2000 guineas, Adlante, he takes it out, ahead of the 6, the 2 and the 9. As we get back to Steve Davis, Steve, James McDonald came back to New Zealand to ride it to Dundee and some track work leading into his spring campaign and I did ask him if he spotted a horse there at the barn that might be worthy of watching and he said, I rode a horse in track work by Fastnet, by Fastnet Rock that's with the Baker Forsman team that could be a serious racehorse. His name was Adlante, he's just picked up his first Group 1 and there might be more to come as well. Top win and the first of the Group 1s over Cup Week, Adlante for the Baker Forsman team. The Quinella 660, 3.62 trifecta, 87.30. 87.30, the first four on 3.62 and 9. $717.70, it was three quarters, half a length, a short head, one and three quarters, 136.47 and 33.96. Race number eight, the winning edge presentations, premier at 431, scratch eight, Ganador, 11, Champagne, Katie. The rider for number 16, Attica, is Lee Calloway. 19, La Musique, is Gillian Morris. And 20, Gervasio, is Brittany Pittman, a big field for race eight. Andre will have all of the presentations in our Group 1 Day 1 feature, the Sorties, 41st New Zealand Guineas, very shortly.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, another terrific race on the Canterbury Jockey Club's calendar is this Group 1 sorties. It's the 41st running of the New Zealand 2000 Guineas. It gives me great pleasure as we begin our presentation to Group 1 Spoils this afternoon to call on the Chairman of the Canterbury Jockey Club, Mr Jeff McCall. Jeff. Welcome everyone to the 2013 New Zealand Cup and Show uh, Week. What a great way to start the week. Sorties, New Zealand 2000 Guineas. And again, I want to acknowledge Sorties, in particular Anne-Marie Despar. This is their third year of sponsorship of this Group 1 prestigious race. And I know Anne-Marie is passionate about racing in the uh, horse, and I'm so thankful that her and her company are committed to continuing with the sponsorship of the New Zealand 2000 Guineas. I uh, want to also thank you for your attendance here today. It's great to see such a good crowd, and we look forward to seeing you on Wednesday and Saturday. Now to Atlante. Fantastic. What a great thrill. It must be for the winning connections of Atlante, ridden by Mr Opie Bosson. Fantastic result. Uh, Rhoda Filippo will be saying a few words on behalf of the winning connections. And uh, it's a great thrill to have her here today to uh, accept the uh, winning trophy uh, from Mrs. Uh, Anne-Marie Despar. So thank you once again for your attendance to Atlante, Opa Boss and the Winning Connections. Congratulations. And I'll ask that Anne-Marie Despar now come forward and say a few words on behalf of Sorties. Thank you. I'll hold a few up. This is a very special year for me as I'm celebrating 50 years in my chosen industry, which I have thoroughly enjoyed. Having been a pioneer in the beauty industry, it gives me great pride to see the beauty industry develop as it has today. I have had 30 years representing Sotis and am delighted to see the recognition the brand now enjoys in New Zealand thanks to a great team of people, with special thanks to my son and daughter. We, sh we all share a great passion for Sotis, and we are very well supported by our French company. It is easy to have great passion when you love something. It is now 20 years since I became involved in horse racing, and to me, sponsoring this race is a way of giving something back to the industry. This is my third year sponsoring Sorties New Zealand 2000 Guineas, and only now I realize the enormity and privilege of being associated with such a prestigious race. I choose to sponsor Canterbury Jockey Club at Rickerton Park, as I would like to see racing continue to thrive in the South Island. I would like to congratulate the ground staff here at Rickerton Park, who I'm sure you will agree always have the grounds beautifully presented, and to the President and his team, who have experienced huge challenges and have had a difficult time making decisions over the last three years, I commend you. As a Cantabrian, I am excited to see Christchurch regaining its soul, even though it is still sad to go through the, the city and other parts. Um, it is encouraging to see the progress that is taking place. For the breeders and owners, I want to mention that the breeders and owners who are so e easy forgotten you are very special people, and without your passion, and may I say, at times, a little bit of madness, there would be no industry and no horse. To the trainer, we know how much goes into preparing a horse race. It is a mixture of dedication, patience, and good judgment, with always the horse's best interest in mind. It is not the end result. It is not about the end result, but how you get there. To the jockey, you are the last piece in the paddle, in the, paddle, in the, in the puzzle. 
and so much rests on your ride. You are very courageous and skillful. Many people can say that they can ride a horse, but few can, but very few could be a jockey. For the horse, my special passion, they are the most amazing creatures on this earth. They're able to feel your every sentiment. They can cry with you and laugh with you. Why wouldn't you love them? They try so hard. It's such a privilege to be able to relax in the company of a horse. Thank you. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Lovely words. I'll just ask Jeff McCall and then Anne-Marie, you just stay here, please. And help Jeff if you're with the uh, trophy and bring on representing the owners' representatives of Adelante this afternoon to accept on behalf of Sorties the 41st running of the 2000 Guineas. Thanks very much. Thank you, Rickerton and Christchurch. Um, Atlante is a beautiful horse. Fell in love with his little white sock the first time we ever saw it. To Bruce Perry, the manager, OP, who rode fantastically today, Murray Baker, Andrew Forsman, and Emily, without whom I don't think he would have stayed calm and got to the start line. It's been a fantastic effort. This is for my co-owner, Lib, who can't be here today because Alex's son isn't very well. So this is for Alex Batania and for my Rob, who's not with us either. Thanks very much. Rhoda Filippo, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I'll just ask Bruce to accept on behalf of the trainers who couldn't be here today, the Trainers Award with Anne-Marie and Jeff. Of course, the trainers Murray Baker and Andrew Forsman. Bruce, if we just look at the uh, cameras there, just with Anne-Marie. Sorry, Anne-Marie, if we just go over here. Perfect. And Bruce, would you like to say a few words on behalf of the trainers? Thank you very much. Um, just on behalf of Murray and Andrew, I'd first of all just like to thank all their staff. Uh, without, they have got a wonderful staff. They've got a big operation, and they do an amazing job. And also like to say thanks to Opie, and just thanks to the owners as well for their support. So thank you very much. Thank you, Bruce. And certainly, last but not least, Jeff, the Jockey's Prize with Anne-Marie. And ladies and gentlemen, he's done it again. O.P. Bosson, he won the race in 1998, 1999, 2003, and 2009. If we just look at the cameras there, O.P. with Anne-Marie, excuse me. Obviously, it means you're getting a wee bit older, O.P. His fifth success, ladies and gentlemen, in the 2000 guineas, O.P. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the Canterbury Racing Club. Um, I'd also like to thank the sponsor of the race, uh, the Baker Forsman team and all the owners for having me aboard the horse. And um, The horse gave me a bit of a hard ride halfway up the straight, but he, um, he's got a big heart and he really stuck his neck out. And uh, There's pretty more, more, much more to come for, her, for him in the future, so thanks very much. Thanks, OP, and congratulations. Let's now have a look at the big screen, the 41st running of the Sorties New Zealand 2000 Guineas, and of course taken out by Adelante. Here's Mark McNamara's description.